because I don't like being disappointed. What was that? Hi, YouTube. Oh my god. What happened? I don't know. It's like something on the outside of the car. These shoes are hurting my feet. Hey, mommy? Mm hmm. The mosquito bite got bigger. On your, on your foot? You want to see it? Mm mm. Don't okay. take your shoes off. Because we got to go into Target. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. What's going on? Adidas. I'm just gonna put my shoe on when I go to Target. I think we got the three. For Tommy's Express. I know y'all probably can't see me, but hey guys, today is Saturday. I am about to take Tristan to a birthday party. And then after the birthday party, I think I'm gonna come home and finish editing my video that is supposed to go live tomorrow on my cleaning channel. Well, my combined channel, cause I'm uploading vlogs up here as well. And uh, I want to go to Home Goods on the other side of town, on the north side of town. So I can see. When does the birthday party end? I don't know, buddy. So I can see what they, what selection they have at Home Goods because each Home Goods is different, and I am so tired of going to the Home Goods that's closer to our house because I feel like I I've seen everything that's there. Um, I got my office chair from there. I got <coughs> that on Thursday, Wednesday. Yeah, I got it on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. And it is very comfortable. It has a leg rest on it. I can show you guys that when we get back. But I need to find decorations to decorate my bookshelves because my bookshelves are empty and I have started gathering decor pieces for my bookshelves. And I want those decor pieces to be unique. I don't want them to be like something that everybody else has. I want them to actually mean something to me because I feel like People get so lost into decorating their houses the way that they see it on the internet or the way that they see it on TikTok and they really forget their inner like selves because your house is supposed to be a reflection of you and your personality. And if you don't see that when you wake up and you look around your house and something is wrong because my house is going to reflect my personality. I knew it was going to be. Uh, I know it was gonna move, but all right, y'all. I'm about to get on like the highway, highway, and it's gonna be really moving. No, so I'll talk to y'all guys when. Um, no, I can talk to them when I get when I get for, uh, at tar Target. We are done with Target, and we are about to head to the birthday party. But before, but before we go to the birthday party. We gotta it. I gotta get the, the gift together. <laughs> okay, give it to me. Oh. So while she gets... We got him this. Okay. So while she gets done with that, I'm going to tell y'all guys jokes. You ready? What? What did... What? What's a skeleton's favorite instrument? A trampoline. A what? A trampoline. A trampoline? A trampoline. <laughs> a trampoline. <laughs> What's a jellyfish's favorite song? If you said jelly, no. A jellyfish's favorite sauce is fish sauce. Uh, 
Okay. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the smart person's house. Knock, knock. Who's there? The chicken. The chicken who? Sorry, I want for the wrong house. It's the house right next to you. Another chicken crosses the road to get to the smart person's house. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? The chicken. I already know this joke. Don't bother me. The chicken said, okay, I guess you don't want to be smart then. Um, what's a dragon's favorite Dragon fruit. I can't come up with no more jokes, mommy. Well, that's my comedy skit. Bye bye. All right, boys. All right, boys. But I feel like I'm talking to y'all. All right, guys. I'm about to go to the birthday party. So the party is over. And being that I am already on this side of town, I think I'm about to go ahead and go to Home Goods. With me in the car? No, I'm not leaving you in the car, Tristan. No, like, can you take me home? No, I'm not taking you home because I'm so close. So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and go to Home Goods while I'm over here to see what this Home Goods have, and then I'm gonna go home. Cause I'm gonna chow down when I'm some. I'm in line. You are super sweaty, dude. I know. You need to turn the. You can put your um get it right right there. You need to turn the uh turn the air on. It's super high. Okay, there we go. Hey guys, so we are officially done with Home Goods, and then I went to another store called Posh, um, Pop Shelf, and it's kind of like a Five Below, but um, they, they sell decor. <laughs> five Below sell decor as well, buddy. Uh, so it's kind of like a Five Below, but they have different stuff in there and it's pretty cool i'll show you guys what i got when i get home like a haul but uh i am about to travel home and i need my phone to travel home trisha i need to know the direction that i'm going you can still play the game i don't care no don't download any other games on my phone i'm not i just okay. to look at that yeah don't download games who do you think I am? I'm just saying. And it's only 124, so I feel like the day is just just getting started because we always wake up super early on the weekend. No, we don't. Yes, we do. You woke up at 6 o'clock, and I, I was already up at 7. That was only because I wanted to get to the birthday party faster. Yeah, I gotta get gas and then I and I and then I gotta go home. Bye YouTube. So while I'm pumping gas, well, really not pumping gas, just listen. I want to ask you guys questions. So, if you have a Target where you live, are they like rearranging stuff inside the store to to like make a new layout or whatever of the store? Cause our, our Target did. Yeah, cause I know when we lived in North Dallas. The Super Target there um, kind of looks like how the Super Target looks here. But 
the way they are rearranging stuff it doesn't make any sense like they have the women's clothes by itself and then they have like the pajamas and loungewear stuff close to the kitchen and appliances and stuff like that so that just doesn't make any sense to me so let me know if the target where you live is rearranging their whole layout like i feel like they just they doing too much oh we gonna be here for a while i got a jeep It doesn't make any sense at all and it's confusing me and it makes me upset like I used to go to Target almost every day just to go in there just to look around see what's new and now I don't even go in there as much because I get so confused I get upset because I be trying to find stuff and I can't find it and then they give you the map and the map don't make sense compared to what they have going on inside the store God, my car drank so much gas. It's pet pet switch and the oil day savings when fifty dollar put. It was a text message. A text message for what? Petco? Mhm. Mm no, PetSmart. Oh, PetSmart. Okay. We could buy stuff for Tootie. Tootie is leaving. Before she comes back, okay guys? I need you to know. If you buy if you buy the dog named Tootsie, that used to be our dog and please take care of her, okay? Thank you. You talking to YouTube? Yeah. I what told them very I told them something very serious. What you told them? Can't tell you. I would be able to go back and look at it. Don't you know that, it. right? I'd look at it. Then. No, just tell me what you said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh God, whatever. It's I about, hate gas. It's, it's, it's about our dog, okay, Happy? What dog? It's my Gracie? Yeah, no, Tootie. Oh, snap. Oh! What happened? It spilled on my pants and on the steering wheel. Hey y'all, I feel like this whole vlog I've been in the car. I am about to go pick up food for the family. We're eating at Olive Garden today. Oh my god. I'm tired. So I'm about to go pick the food up and Tristan is eating Asian food like always. That's his favorite. Who can help you find the best superstar battery for you? I wanted to ask y'all another question. So I'm from Georgia, which is in the South, and food in Georgia is just so good. Like, I don't know, it just feel like when you go to a restaurant in Georgia, they put their soul and their just love into the food, right? Okay, then when we stay in Japan, same thing, it's like, the customer service was amazing and everything we ate it looked just like the picture that was advertised on the menu okay then we come back to North Dallas and the food is okay you know there were some restaurants that I found in North Dallas that I love and I used to eat all the time okay we moved to California food was good it was a hit and miss in the beginning, but then when we found the restaurants that we really like, and then we started going to like food trucks, mom and pop shops and stuff like that. Food tastes good, okay? Then we move to Texas again, not in Dallas. Food's horrible. Food is horrible. I'm talking about everything here it tastes nasty. Everything tastes nasty. When we first got here, we got chilies. It was gross. It was so gross. I'm sorry, it was nasty. Then we tried other like chain stores or whatever. You know the usual Burger King, um, Taco Bell, Whataburger for people that's in Texas. And it's all nasty. Everything is nasty. 
KFC here tastes amazing. They got a Zaxby's as soon as we moved here. And that was a restaurant that I missed because I had it in Georgia. And Zaxby's is good. There is a place here called... Um, dang it. What is it called? Let me tell y'all. Hold on. It's on Uber Eats. And I've ate there before. Okay, so there's a place here called Slim Chicken. Tastes amazing. Like, good. I like that. The Hooters is gross. The IHOP is gross. The Wingstop is gross. The Denny's, gross. Or maybe I'm just on the wrong side of the of the, of this uh, maybe I'm just on the wrong side but it's nasty y'all come on because I know it's up here Mr. C's fried chicken and waffles amazing taste amazing like they're um there are greens and there are um, sweet potatoes. Oh my God, it tastes so good. Their waffles taste amazing. Chicken tastes amazing. Everything is like 10 out of 10. Doing my Keith Lee, 10 out of 10. I give it a 10 out of 10. Zaxby's, I give it a 10 out of 10. McDonald's, I give it a zero out of 10 or negative five out of 10. Another restaurant is called Front Yard barbecue it's like a truck place they sell uh, baked potatoes turkey legs all that stuff we got our turkey legs from them for thanksgiving 10 out of 10 and somebody it was amazing but if you live in san antonio texas and you know restaurants that taste good please let me know down below because i am so tired of wanting to go out and eat and enjoy myself and the food is gross and I'm from the south so the bar is high when it comes to food like I feel like Georgia Mississippi and Louisiana when it comes to food I haven't been to a place I tell you back Japan Louisiana Georgia and Mississippi like the bar is high my husband's from mississippi i'm from georgia so when it comes to food it has to taste amazing i'm a cook i come from my mom's a cook my grandmother on both sides are cooks we used to have barbecues i'm like used to the good barbecue the southern meals on sunday which we don't do now but i'm just used to that and i'm not getting that here like we went to i know i'm rambling y'all and i gotta go pick the food up but one last thing we went to me and my husband went on a breakfast date yesterday right we went to this restaurant called jim's gross i got the grits thinking i'm about to give me some bussin bussin grits like i'm about to get some salt and pepper with some cheese like grits tastes good it was nasty the grits was nasty the eggs didn't have no salt on it the bacon wasn't crispy like mm, a zero out of ten <laughs> it was nasty <laughs> so i hope and pray this olive garden is good because if it's not good y'all i'm probably just going to go get me a salad from wendy's because i don't like being disappointed Especially when it comes to food, like I love to eat. Hey y'all, today is Sunday, and I didn't give y'all a I didn't give y'all a haul of the stuff that I got yesterday from the store, but I'm gonna do that when we get back. The boys got invited to another birthday party, Hi. so we are about to go there. All of the boys are going this time. 
Yesterday it was just Tristan, but today it's all the boys. Oh no! Oh no, what? I, I want to meet you. Yeah, he know Carter. Carter was at his house last time. Mommy. What? The, the black is a thunderhead. Can you guys put Tootie up for me, please? Yes. You can't put her up, buddy, because you got to pick her up. Okay. I can't believe I fell, y'all. Okay, cutie. Not me thinking I had Megan knees. The lighting is horrible in here, y'all, because, um, something's in my face. Because the lighting in here is warm, but I wanted to do me a bun, but I think I'm going to do me a ponytail. Because... And I'm on the step stool, y'all. So, y'all will be able to see me. I guess it's a side ponytail. Yeah. I guess we'll go with the side, y'all. I'm not laying no edges today. I keep telling myself over and over, I cannot believe I am going to be 31 this year. Like, can't be lying. Because how am I going to be 31? I still feel like I'm the little girl in elementary school playing The Sims. Okay. But do I look 31, y'all? Because I feel like, I feel like I'm 31. The gym makes me feel like I'm 31. But I feel like I don't look there. Here you go. Now you gotta pick something. Hi, uh, I don't see a snake, buddy. Yeah, I don't see a snake. I I find fly. Goofy goofy. Goofy goofy. Fly. Goofy goofy. And uh. What? It's flying. What is that? Let me see. I think it's flying. Goofy goofy. It's fly. What is this though? I don't know. I guess that's goofy goofy with the little... It's oh. slime. Please. It's not sticky slime. How would you know if it's not sticky or not? Because you're not actually playing with it. I hear It's this. not open. Okay. Do you no, think... No. Do you think a sticky slime would... Mommy! Would you make this out? Mommy! Look! Yes. I see that. It smells like water slime. Mommy, I do. These can grow in water. This? Yes. That can that can go in water. You? Sticky with water. Please, Please mommy. Make these drawings? No, no slime. Uh, How do you make these drawings? No yeah, no slime, CD. I'm sorry. Why? Because you guys are not responsible when it comes to slime. You get it everywhere. What is? I don't. You do. This is Play-Doh. Let me see. It says silly. Okay, yeah. You can have this. If they don't? Yeah. Silly. Mommy, baby. Ew. We 
I made it home, y'all, for the birthday party. And I wanted to come and show y'all the stuff that I got yesterday from Pop Shelf and also Home Goods. So I got a notebook to go on my desk. It's just like playing inside. I got this vase. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it this color, but it looks nice. This color is my color because it's uh, neutral, but I think I want it darker. So I got this because it's similar to this. It is a different color and I had the idea of doing a DIY with create creating a pedestal bowl. I think that's what it's called. I could be wrong, but that is what I want to do and spray paint this something similar to the color of this. So when I do decorate my bookshelves, it'll look somewhat symmetrical, but it's different elements, if that makes sense. So, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even share prices. This was $5 from Pop Shelf. This was $5 as well. This bowl was three, and I think it's it's not ceramic. It's something else, but I know this is ceramic. I don't remember the price of the notebook. And I also got me some pans, green of course, because it's my favorite color. And black. two things and they are also going into my office. I got this face which also has some yes No throwing. Okay, sweetie, no throwing. Oh my God, y'all. It's okay, sweetie. This vase has similar, well not similar details, but it's pleated and it looks so nice. It is a nice, coffee color and it was the detail of it. It's real nice. This was $24.99 and I honestly think that this is where I would place my camera inside. Kind of like just sit it on my bookshelves because I want my bookshelves to be functional but I also want them to reflect my personality. I think I've said that before on this vlog and I just don't want it to look like it's in my zone. Like, I just, I don't. I don't want my house to look like that at all. So, add some characteristics to my, uh, to my bookshelves. So while I am giving you guys the haul of the stuff that I've purchased 
for my bookshelves. I can show you the other stuff that I have gotten over the course of maybe these past couple of months since they started building my bookshelves. I got this from Home, Home Goods as well. I was hoping so you guys can see some detail in it. It is textured and you can kind of see the um, different levels of this base and how it looks so nice. Oh, this was $20. I got this base, and this base is heavy, y'all. I got this from Ross for $12. It seemed like it should be more than $12, but it was only $12. And it matches the tray that I got from Home Goods. So, when I like to decorate, I like to decorate in threes. I don't know why, but in the decor world, it is best to decorate in threes with something. So, I think I'll probably find something else that's marbled to put in my bookshelves and also try to find three other things the same color as this if I cannot spray paint my DIY set color. I want to put black on my bookshelves as well. The inside of my bookshelves are black. Okay, this is the last thing, y'all. And then I gotta show you my office chair. So I got this from Home Goods. It is a rock. Show you the details of this. This is nice. This was $20. It is heavy. It seems like it should be more than $20 as well. But this is one of my very unique pieces. I gotta find some more unique pieces to put in here. I kinda wanted to get um a candle but something that's not typically a candle like I want it to look unique kind of like maybe I can get it to look like a camera or something like that I'll have to look on Etsy but I want it to find like unique pieces I also need to measure the space in between my bookshelves so I'll know not to get something super super tall but it seems like the the top Ooh, excuse me. It seems like the top is the tallest, but I am sitting down looking up at it, so it may be different. Alright, then let me show y'all my desk. Not my desk. My, uh, my chair. Okay, so I got my chair as well from Home Goods. Home Goods, and it has a footrest on it. If I can get it to go right, y'all. All right, I'm put y'all down. Okay, so this is how it looks, and. It also reclines and it goes like up and down. But this was one seventy nine, so I am over budget on my office, way over budget, y'all. But I feel like I need to treat myself. It's time to spoil me instead of spoiling my husband and the boys. So yeah. But that is it, you guys. This is the first vlog that's going to be on my uh, new channel. Well, not new channel, but I'm combining my vlogging channel and my clean channel together. So I hope y'all like it. I will upload more because this is what I want to transition into. I want to upload a vlog like in the middle of the week and then upload cleaning on maybe Friday or Sunday. Sundays are not doing that well on my channel uploading on Sundays. 
so I haven't came out and gave like designated days that I will upload because I am experimenting right now. Well, not experimenting, but kind of just playing with my upload schedule. So do not hold it to me, y'all. Don't give me no, I'm not gonna give y'all no days. So y'all can't just be like, where's the video to him? But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And also hit that bell so you don't miss any of my latest uploads. And I hope you guys have a great day. Yeah.